everybody. It's your boy Razor Ramon the Barber. And I'm back with another fragrance review. Yeah, man, I'm back with another fragrance review. Currently, at the shooting of this video, we sitting at 1,067 subscribers. On our way, on the road to 2,000. So I need y'all to do your boy a favor, man. Yeah, I need you to do your boy a favor. I need you to like. I need you to share. I need you to comment. And I need you to subscribe. Yeah, man. I need you to do that for your boy. So we get to 2,000, we're gonna worry about 3,000. All right, man. Today I'm doing a tag video. I'm starting the tag video. And I'm gonna tag the usual suspects, man. But before we hop into the tag video that we doing, y'all know how we do on the channel, man. No hand dog. Can we get that to focus? There we go. No hand dog. Cheers, Chico. All right, y'all. The tag is the dent don't lie. The dent don't lie, man. Shout out to the OG Go. They smell good. He always saying is the dent don't lie, man. Never have and it never will. So this is ten fragrances in your collection where the dent don't lie, where you see a significant amount of usage in these fragrances, man. So I'm gonna hop right into uh, the 10 fragrances. We'll kind of speed ball through this so it won't be so long. The first fragrance up is from the house of E. Saint Laurent and it is YSL EDT. YSL EDT and it's the 2017 version. Um, just like I said, we're gonna speed ball through it. Aromatic, fresh citrus with some fruity notes in it. Uh, Top notes are aldehyde, bergamot, ginger, and mint. And then you got some apple, some violet um, in the middle with some pineapple and a little bit of incense. See then the dry down, man. Nice, smooth, aromatic, aquatic, um, fresh, man. Real, real dope, man. It's first up, man, and the dent don't lie. And as you can see, man, the dent don't lie. Summertime, banger. All right, man. Next fragrance we're going to hop into is from the house of Givenchy. And it's Givenchy Pie. Givenchy Pie, man. As you can see, the dent don't lie, man. It's sweet, amber, vanilla, man, with some nutty, aromatic, almond vibe, man. This is nice, almond vibe, excuse me. Top nose, mandarin, orange, rosemary, and basil. In the middle nose, you got some lily, yellow valley, geranium, and neroli. And in the dry down, you got almond, tonga bean, benzo, and vanilla, man. It's just a nice, pleasant, smooth, inviting, Fragrance, man. Definitely, definitely a uh, staple into a fragrance collection. Most of these, I would say all of these are staples in Fragcom, man. Um, you can't go wrong with none of these fragrances. Mass appealing and pleasing. Second fragrance. Dead Don't Lie. Givenchy Pie. All right. Third fragrance from the house of Paco Rabanne. Y'all probably already ever guessed, man. It's one million. One million by Paco Rabanne, man. As you can see, what a dent in that thing. That thing all the way down now. Then don't lie, man. It's about time for another bottle of this. Club banger. Warm spices, cinnamon, aromatic. This is nice, man. Mandarin orange, blood mandarin, grapefruit mint up top with some cinnamon and spicy notes in the middle. You got a leather, woodsy, Indian patchouli, and amber on the dry down, man. This is nice, sweet. Bubble gum with some spice, man. Definitely mass appealing. Definitely crowd pleaser, man. Third fragrance. Paco Rabanne, one million. All right. On to the next fragrance. Fourth fragrance, Summertime Banger. None other from the hot end, but I got a few Versace fragrances. I'm just going to let y'all know. It's a few fruit from Versace in this. Versace, Mano Fresh. Uh, as my homie like to say, Manny Fresh. That's what my brother say. Manny Fresh, man. The dent don't lie, man. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, man. Got that star anise up top. Citrus, rose, wood, 
Heart notes is sage, um, targon. Dry notes is musk, amber, and sycamore weed woods, man. This is a nice fragrance, man. Definitely a summertime staple. A little bit of fruit in this with some, um, with some smoke in the sense of earthiness from the cedar leaf and um, sage. This is a nice, nice fragrance, man. Definitely a staple for the summertime in the fragrance community. It is made Versace Man and Fresh. Fourth up in the Dead Don't Lie. All right, man. Y'all knew it was coming. Y'all just didn't know when. Uh, the fifth fragrance, man. Polo Red Extreme. My favorite fragrance. I uh, wish I could show y'all what a dent it, but I could tell by how light the bottle was getting that the dent is not. It's probably about, it's, we probably about right here or a little bit under there. It's not as heavy as it used to be. Fragrance is hard to find though, so I don't wear as much as I used to. Beautiful fragrance. Coffee, citrus, warm, spicy, and woody, man. Not a lot of notes, but it's good at what it do. Coffee, blood, orange, and woods, man. This is a nice, uh, pleasant, um, kind of fresh roasted coffee with a little bit of citrus and some nice woods in it. Dope fragrance, man. Fifth fragrance up, the Dent Don't Lie. Versace, not Versace, Polo Red Extreme, man. Polo Red work just as good. Um, Polo Red Intense, all those are epic. All right, uh, for five, six fragrance. We back doing it again from the house of Versace. Let me grab this right quick. For the house of uh, Sachi is Dylan Blue. I'm gonna turn this around so maybe y'all get a chance to see the dent. The dent don't lie, man. The dent don't lie. All right, man, you can see the dent like right here. This is uh, shower jelly, spice, woodsy, smoky, aromatic with some citrus in it, man. Very, very much crowd pleasing. Uh, bergamot, water notes, and grapefruit up top. You got some black pepper, patchouli, and broccoli in the middle, and musk, um, tonka bean, saffron, and incense on the dry down, man. This is one of those fragrances, a few sprays that carry you a long way. Easily a 10-hour fragrance. They're going to smell you from across the street. It's definitely a staple. And frag combo, also just a staple in, uh, amongst the everyday regular consumer, man. Versace, Dylan, Blue. All right. What is it? Seven, eight, nine. All right, seven. Again, from the house of Versace. <laughs> Versace done came out with just bangers over the years, man. As you can see, the dead don't lie. Versace, Dylan Blue. Not Dylan Blue. Versace Blue Jean. This is a nice, sweet, citrus, powdery fragrance, man. Some people don't like the sweetness of it, uh, but I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It has stood the test of time over the years. Man, this thing has a jam packed with no citrus, bergamot, Brazilian wood, and anise at the top. Lavender, rose, heliotrope, sage, and lily of the valley in the middle. And then a dry down of sandalwood, tongue bean, vanilla with some iris. Again, I only read off a few notes because I don't want this video to be long, man. But this is definitely a nice uh, staple to a collection that I think everybody should at least get their nose on, man. And, uh, I think it's sweet enough to be unisex as well, man. Get your nose on this, man, if you're starting off your collection or if you have a collection that you have not smelt this and you kind of want to get uh, that 90s vibe, man, this is right up the alley, man. Versace Blue Jean. It didn't don't lie, man. All right, all right. Uh, seventh fragrance. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fragrances from the house of Coach. And it is Coach for men. See, we turn this around, see if y'all can see that dent. Dent don't lie, man. Never have, never will, man. Citrus, aromatic, sweet, fruity, spicy with some lavender. I really love this fragrance, man. The opener of this fragrance is second to none, man. This opener of this fragrance is beautiful. You got that pear, kumquat, bergamot, lavender, and grapefruit. In the middle, you got some spices from the cardamom and coriander. And got some floridness from the geranium. And on the dry down, you got suede, amberwood, Haitian vetiver, and ambergris. Again, man, this is a nice, pleasant, beautiful fragrance, man. One of those staples um, in the fragrance community and staples to a fragrance collection. I know I keep saying that, but most of these fragrances 
um, I had since I uh, really started taking fragrances a little bit serious and I started to step on my uh, game with designer fragrances, man, and they have held me down over the years, man. Eight fragrances, coach for men. Get your nose on all these, man. If you don't have them, get them. All right. Uh, the ninth fragrance we're going to run into is from the front. <laughs> I'm laughing because y'all gonna make fun of me, man. From the house of Giorgio Armani. It's from the Imperial Armani collection. It's none other than Stronger With You. Absolute. <laughs> the dent don't lie, man. The dent don't lie. Shout out to my boy JP Frag, man. Thank you, Ock, for sending this over my way, man. Appreciate you. Vanilla wood, rum. This has a booziness of cool with some sweetness. A little bit of smoke, man. This is a nice fragrance. Rum, Elamine, and Bergamot at the top. Um, lavender and Divana in the middle. And then the dry down, you got Madagascar, chestnut, cedarwood, and patchouli, man. This is a nice fall time, winter time fragrance, man. Uh, this is a little bit harder to get your hands on, but I know they have some different, um, they have some dupes of this um, from Fragrance World and different um, different companies. So if you actually can't find Stronger with you, absolute, you can, it's easy for you to locate the, uh, the, the vibe that this fragrance is giving off of from different other fragrances. That's the ninth fragrance. And on the 10th, y'all know it's coming, man. You can't do a, the dent don't lie without the, without the, one of the OGs, without one of the uh, kings of frags itself. And it's none other than Dior Savage. Or they like to say that Savage. It's the EDP. Dent don't lie, man. See if y'all can see that dent. Try to save it a little bit. If y'all can't see the dent, it's about it's about right here. The dent don't lie, man. This is uh, in Brox and Grenade, man. Pressurized Animizer. Fresh, spicy, musky lavender um, with a vanilla dry down, man. Top notes of this fragrance is bergamot. Middle notes is session with pepper, lavender, star anise, and nutmeg. And the dry down is Ambroxan and vanilla, man. This is a room filler. This is a, a, a outdoor filler. Um, this is a universe filler. A couple sprays of this will fill up a planet. <laughs> but this is a dope fragrance, man. Very, 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 very masculine. Uh, but on the dry down, it turns into this smooth creaminess. Man, this is at least a 10-hour fragrance. Uh, everybody that you either love this fragrance or you hate it, um, most people that I run into love it. Um, I know a lot of women like the way they smell. Um, most people I know get this fragrance lots of praise, man. I think it's a real good fragrance. The tent fragrance of the dent don't lie. That is Dior Sauvage EDP. All right, man. So I'm going to tag the usual suspects. If I leave you out, uh, charge it to my head and not my heart. Um, but if you see this, man, uh, and I forget to say your name, still do the tag video, man. The usual suspects. We're going to go with Dedrick L. Hicks, man. We're going to go with uh, Twilly 2. Uh, we're going to go with Jerry from the House of Colossus. Uh, we're going to go with Ross over there at TLT. I love to see the uh, fragrance you come up with. That massive collection, the dents you got. We're going to go with Goldie. We're going to go with uh, my boy uh, Big Toot over there, uh, Bamboo Fragrances. Uh, we're going to go with Swag, uh, my boy uh, Swain Swaggy Scents. Man, we're going to go with I, I, my boy Mike Mike from I Smell. We're going to go with uh, Ace from Smell Better Fragrances. We're going to go with Bro Sense. Uh, we're going to go with Trey Sense. We're going to go with, uh, goodness gracious. I know I'm leaving out somebody. I know I'm leaving out somebody. Man, I want to see my, my big bro, Big Beard B, man. I, that massive collection you got, I would love to see the 10 fragrance you come up with that uh, the dent don't lie in them. Uh I'm drawing blanks right now, man. But, you know, like I say, if I forgot you, charge it to my head, not my heart. Uh, but I'd love to see what y'all come up with with these 10 fragrances uh, in your collection that has dents in them um, that have served you a uh, great purpose over the years, man. All right, that's my time. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. As always, until next time, instant transmission.